Hey everyone, Skinny Pigs One here. Today we're gonna do some Meet the Pigs. I haven't done it for a little while and we have a new member. So starting over here is a 2x5 cage that has Bullseye and Butterscotch Ripple. Now Bullseye, I had adopted him off Kijiji. He originally, I was trying to pair him up with Littlefoot, but it didn't work. So he ended up going alone and Littlefoot alone. And now Butterscotch Ripple, she is a spade female, meaning she's fixed, there's no babies. She came from Piggles Guinea Pig Rescue, and I adopted her to be Bullseye's buddy, and they are great friends. And she's really coming along now, she's getting a lot more used to the routine here, and she doesn't always feel like she has to run and hide, so that's really nice to see. So I'll just show you an overview of their cage. And we got these here from Twilight Chinchillas. Just little garlands to decorate the outside of the cage. And they also have one of the chews in the cage. It's alright. And then over here is a 2x6. It's just a little shorter than a 2x6. This is Little Foot and Butter Pecan. Now Littlefoot, I had adopted him off Kijiji, and then, as I said before, I adopted Bullseye thinking I could get them to be friends, but that didn't work. So then I adopted Pecan from Piggles Guinea Pig Rescue. Rescue. She is a spade female as well, so again, no babies, and they do really well together. Hi, babe. She's the sweetest little thing ever. When she's not eating and you pet her, she just flops right on the ground and will stretch out, kick out her back leg. She loves being touched. So right here they have a chew from Twilight Chinchillas. And then they have a little sea garland out the front. And now over here is Calvin and Hobbs. Calvin and Hobbs are brothers. I adopted them together when they were six months old. They are going to be five in the fall, so I've had them for quite a long time. They are sweet little boys, and they live in this 2x5 here. And on the outside of their cage, they have a little monkey garland from Twilight Chinchillas. And they have just a couple of, oh, three chews in their cage. And then that's a little mini oxbow hay mat. But as you can see, they've been ripping it apart. I just zip tied it to the cage so they don't pee on it. And then over here is Barnaby. Barnaby is over five years old, and he was my first skitty pig. I did get him from the pet store, so he's the only one here that wasn't adopted. He is just sweet as anything. I just love this little boy. You're so cute. And he's in a 2x3, which really he only uses this kind of section here. Yes. He's getting a little senior, a little elderly, so he just kind of likes to sleep and to eat. But that's alright, he's always up in the morning for his veggies. And anytime it's treat time with a vegetable, he's out, so that's nice. And then this garland here is the bumblebees in a beehive, which I absolutely love. And then Seymour is in a messy cage that I gotta sweep up. He's eating his pellets and he's got some lettuce there. Seymour I adopted from a family that couldn't look after him anymore. He'll be here for almost two years coming up soon enough. In August I think it was he'll be here for two years which is great. He's a great little boy and he has the run of the whole room throughout the day and then just at night he stays in his cage. He's very clean as well, it's just that hay falls out of his uh, hay box, gets scattered around, which is no big deal because just once a week I'll just sweep it up and vacuum out his entire cage and it looks like tonight should be the night for that. So those are my animals that are in this room. And some people might be wondering why is Barnaby alone? Barnaby actually has really bad arthritis, and this is his Medicam right here that he has to get daily because otherwise he's extremely sore and grumpy and doesn't want to move. 
So just at this point, I just don't think it would be fair to introduce him to someone and have them, you know, make him move around, push him around. What if they block him from eating because they're really bossy? So it just worries me too much that it just would be very stressful on him. Because you do notice, like, he does breathe a bit heavier than the other guys just because of his age. So I just, I would feel terrible if something happened to him because I stressed out his heart by adding another pig to him. It's been a conflict that's weighed on my mind a lot because he is the sweetest boy and he would do great with another piggy. I just don't know if his body could handle it. But he's very happy and I do try to give him obviously as much attention as I can, which I do know does never never replaces another pig. But it's just it's too hard. If he didn't have the arthritis, I would totally do it. But his arthritis is bad enough that he gets very stiff moving around. So anyway, that is all the little pets. So thanks for watching.